very simple as I was beginning to say. Uh, we have to attend to the uh, impending uh, food crisis that uh, it seems uh, it will be visiting us uh, in the next two quarters. And every, uh, when we look around the world, everyone is preparing for it. And therefore we, because we are already in a disadvantageous position in terms of supply, uh, food supply, we're already in a disadvantageous position. Uh, we should really pay a very close attention to what we can do. I think, I think what we have, what we have the, the conclusions we have come to here uh, are that we have to increase our production, and we've talked a little bit about the ways that we can do it. Uh, we can increase our production of rice and corn at least, and hopefully we, I don't know if we have enough time, uh, but it's a, but it's a problem ng, ng livestock, ng uh, baboy at saka manok. Uh, we'll see, we, we have to think very hard about making sure that people have the same, have uh, sufficient food, number one, at the price that they can afford. Because again, yeah, it's useless to have food if they cannot afford it anyway. Uh, the other side of it is the on the on the longer term, we need to come up with a multi-year plan, really, to reconstruct our value chain, uh, and that for me is the most important thing. Because mm -hmm. habang mag pag nagawa na yan, these are big, these are starters. Masagana 150, masagana 200. This, this, these are these these are good plans that we have to put into into place. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, operationalize them already. Etong pinag-usapan natin first on the on the immediate short term uh, supply for the rest of the country. Sabihan yun, you you have if, if there are EOs that you might need legislation that you might need, you draft them already and you give them to us, and uh, we'll see kung ano yung gagamitin natin dun. On the longer term, uh, we really have to. Uh, reconstruct, as I said, our uh, value chain, starting from our scientists and our researchers all the way to the Kadiwa store. So uh, we have to remake that model. We have a good model that was from the uh, uh, previous administration, but it's a very different world out there. The technology is very different. And although the concept is still going to be similar, uh, we have to have we have to come up with our own 2022 to 2028 to 2030. Don't be do not be hesitant to make it multi-year because I really don't believe you cannot you can do this if you you just say one year three years even six years uh, No, we can do it in six years. So we can do this in less than six years. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so those are the two main elements no? that, that, uh, that I, I, uh, uh, I have been always uh, concerned with. So let, uh, uh, again, um, whatever, whatever, ano ba yung hiningi ko sa inyo, yung sa rice tarification law, uh, reassessment uh, of that, RCEP, give me, give me a, a short memo on RCEP, uh, whether or not we should, uh, ano it, we should, uh, Ratify uh, the pros and cons. Yeah, ourselves also. Uh, and then the, the programs that we talked about, uh, just give me a baseline that, uh, of what has been done, how it's been done, etc. Para alam ko yung, yung, uh, yung ginagawa, na, yung tinatrabaho ng ano, programa. Um, anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else we need to be. Again, of course, the immediate one is, ri is rice, corn, food supply for the rest of the year, number one. So if there are some EOs, again, and some legislation that you will need, even budget, supplementary budget from the House, tignan natin kung may makuha pa tayo. All right? Okay, thank you very much. That was very thorough.